Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can interface the 8051 microcontroller with the basic electrical components like LED and motor. So in uh, I will show you the three experiments in this video. First will be the blinking LED experiment using 8051 and second will be the uh, switch control experiment and third one is uh, switch LED experiment that is we will control the uh, LED with using a uh, push button switch and uh, uh, at last we will use uh, we will uh, I will show you the motor control experiment okay using switch so let's get started so first of all I will show you the blink LED experiment so for this uh, blink LED experiment I, I have already uploaded the code in this microcontroller so I am just connecting the circuit and I will show you how you can connect the circuit so first of all you have to connect this uh, uh, this uh, crystal oscillator between the pin numbers uh, between the pin numbers 9, 18 and 19 and correspond uh, and following that you have to connect two capacitors parallelly um, 33 microfarad capacitor parallelly from that pin number uh, 18 and 19 to the this one ground okay so after that you have to just connect this uh, pin number 40 to the VCC and pin number 31 to the VCC and after that you have to connect the pin number 20 you have to connect the pin number 20 to the ground here okay and in the program i have used this uh, uh, pin uh, port 1 pin 1 as output so i will uh, connect the led to the port 1 pin 1 so led has two pins one is the bigger one one is the smaller one so bigger one is positive and smaller one is negative so i will connect the positive terminal to the output of the microcontroller that i have used in the programming as port 1 pin 1 so i will connect this positive with the positive uh, microcontroller output and the negative to the ground okay so i have connected this and at last i will connect this reset pin that is pin number 9 1 2 3 hmm i will connect the pin number 9 to the ground okay so our circuit is complete so i for the first experiment that is blinking led i will only use this this ic and these things or uh, we will use this for uh, further experiments so now I'm going to give it the power supply. I'm giving the power supply using Arduino. So on Arduino is just for the power supply. So don't confuse that why I have used Arduino. You can also use 9 volt battery or any other battery. But uh, use 9 volt battery with a 5 voltage regulator. Otherwise you may burn your IC. Okay. So I'm just giving the power supply. Okay. And as you can see, the circuit connection is complete. And also I will provide the code in the description. Code for the this document in the description below. Okay. So I am just uh, resetting the circuit. For resetting the circuit, you have to just put the pin reset circuit to the VCC, and after that, put it to the ground. And as you can see, and as you can see, our blinking LED experiment is complete. See, LED is blinking. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, do the second experiment that is uh, LED control using the switch. Okay, so switch interfacing with the microcontroller. So for that I will upload the code and I will come back to it again. Okay, so till that I am pausing, forwarding the video. So now I have programmed this microcontroller for the switch LED experiment. So now I will connect the circuit for the switch LED experiment in the programming. Uh, while I was programming, then I will I I had used the input port that is for switch. That this is uh, I have used this port, uh, port port one pin one. Okay, and for output port we will we will connect the LED. I have used that one uh, pin number this port two pin zero. Okay, this last pin. So according to that I will connect the circuit. So let's see how you connect the circuit. So pin number forty to the VCC. Pin number 42 the VCC Pin number 42 the VCC Also pin number 31 that is from this side pin number 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So this pin to the VCC okay. And also I will use a reset pin Reset pin pin number 9 from here pin number 9 okay so this is our reset pin okay so from reset pin to the ground okay and for switch see uh, for led i already told you that led has to one connect this positive terminal of the led to this 
pin number for, uh, port uh, that output port that is port 2 pin 0 and other to the ground okay so now uh, the time for the connection of the switch so how we will connect the switch so see for switch i will connect the uh, the input of the microcontroller that is uh, port 1 pin 1 that is from here pin number 2 okay so connect this to here one side of the switch as you can see and just the corresponding side other side just connect the register you can choose your own value i am using 330 ohm register okay so connect it to the ground okay so this is connected okay see you can see that logic the input logic to the one side of the switch and that just to the front side of the switch to the this ground and now you have to connect this this side of the switch this one to the VCC 5 volt this switch to VCC have connected so here yeah, our circuit is complete and I am using Arduino for the power supply as I already mentioned okay so now it's time for the resetting the circuit just take the reset pin and put it to the VCC and then put it to the ground okay and I think that this LED is not working I'm using another LED Oh, I actually I missed the ground. That is pin number 20. So, just connecting the pin number 20. It's pin connect 20 to the ground. Okay. So now I'm re again resetting the circuit. Just putting it to VCC and putting it back. Okay. Welcome back. So actually the connection was loose, that's why the output was not coming. So I am now again the resetting the circuit, putting into VCC and connecting the ground. Okay, so now I'm turning the lights off. And now as you can see the bulb is connect currently on. And when I am pushing the switch, and you can see that it's turning off. Okay. So you can do ultra logic also, reverse logic also. Okay, by just changing the output like 0 and 1 in the programming so as you can see the switch already experimented successfully done okay so now moving to the next equipment for the next equipment that is a switch control motor control using the switch okay so for that experiment uh, for that experiment uh, the programming is same i have to just connect the use this remove this led and I have just connect uh, this uh, to the motor driver IC using connect the motor using the motor driver IC so I am just connecting this circuit so as you can see this is L293 IC and you have to just uh, take this uh, output to the pin number 2 of the motor driver IC and you have to connect this pin this pin uh, this first pin from the right side this is the notch the first pin to the right side to the VCC Okay, also connect this one, this uh, pin number 1 to the VCC, connect pin number 1 to the VCC, okay, now you have to uh, the C, the logic is connected to the pin number 2 of the IC, motor driver IC and pin this pin, uh, pin number uh, what is it, 16 to the VCC and pin number 1 to the VCC and now we have to connect this short this pin number 4 and 5 uh, leave 3 for uh, leave 3 for this time and connect this 4 and 5 the short this 2 pins pin number 4 and 5 okay short this 2 pins and connect it to the ground So now this is connected. Now we have to connect this motor and this uh, diode to the circuit. Okay. So see, mm, wait.
Okay. So as you can see, this diode has uh, two ends. Uh, first, um, like uh, one end is uh, with grey color. So you have to the uh, that that grey color end is negative terminal of the diode, and another the black terminal. Black is the uh, positive of the diode. Okay. See. See. Yeah, this grey terminal is the negative and this is positive. So you have to connect this grey terminal that is negative terminal to the pin 3 of the motor diode IC. Just connect this to the pin 3 and connect the other terminal to the ground. Just connect it to the ground. Okay. Now you have to connect the motor. So Connect one terminal of the motor to this pin 3 and other terminal of the motor to the ground. Okay, so now motor is connected. Okay, and I'm using Arduino as a power supply. So now just you have to reset the circuit. Okay, before that, before that, before that, I missed one thing. You have to connect this uh, pin number 8 to the this pin number 8 or 7, whatever it is. Just connect this to the VCC or 5 volt or you can uh, this is actually motor voltage okay so you can give it to the 12 volt also it's not a problem so just connect it to the, I'm giving the 5 volt this is VCC okay now the circuit is complete okay now you have to just you have to uh, reset the circuit just put it to the VCC and just back okay now see the motor is running okay now when I am pressing the switch motor motor is not running it will get stopped okay now i'm releasing pushing releasing so this was uh, uh, interfacing the motor with the 805 microcontroller with the using the switch okay so as you can see our third instrument is also complete now okay so this was the three basic interfacing uh, of the 8051 with the, some basic electric components so thanks for watching the video and please like subscribe and share